Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Summer Squash Stuffed with Mergay's Sausage and Goat Cheese. And I know what you're thinking, don't those strong flavors cover up the natural flavor of the squash? Yes, yes they do. Which is why we're doing it. Who the heck wants to taste Summer Squash? Not me. Okay, step one, we're going to take two Mergay's Sausage. This is about four ounces total. Okay, Mergay's is a very strongly flavored pretty spicy lamb sausage. We're going to slice it and take off the casing, which is about that hard. So just slice it, pull that off. And I'm also going to prep some red bell pepper, sweet pepper, and I'm just going to cut it in strips and cut it in a small dice, just like that. All right, we're going to go over to the stove and over medium heat, I'm going to add a little olive oil, just a touch. I'm going to dump in my pepper and I'm going to crumble in my Merguez sausage so we're going to cook this for about, I don't know, seven, eight minutes. What we want to do is soften and sweeten the peppers. And we also want to render most of the fat out of the sausage and also break it up in tiny, tiny pieces. So as it cooks here, just take a flat edged wooden spoon or spatula and just break up the meat in as small a pieces as you can. And you're going to be stunned by how much fat comes out, which is fine because this is so flavorful. We don't need all that fat. So when it looks like that, what I want you to do is turn off the heat, push it all the way to one side of the pan, tilt the pan, and most of the oil, most of that fat's going to run down, and you're going to be able to take a paper towel and just soak it up. So a little bit's okay, but we want to get most of that out of there. Okay, next up I have a bowl of crumbled fresh goat cheese. All right, that's ice cold right from the fridge. I'm going to combine the hot sausage mixture into the cold goat cheese. And when you combine hot and cold, you get warm. Warm, of course, the purple of temperatures. That's right, you're going to have to think about that one for a minute. So give that a good stir, and when it's all combined, just set it aside until needed. Alrighty, so we're on to our summer squash. There they are. I have five of these round-type green summer squash. All right, I'm going to trim those tops off just a little bit. I'm going to cut it in half. And you know, the main problem with summer squash is that they're filled with summer squash. So we're going to take some of that out to make a little well for our stuffing. I'm going to use a melon baller. You could use a spoon. We're going to go down, let's say, maybe three quarters of an inch, something like that. Okay. You don't want to go down so far that it just falls apart when it bakes, but that's just about perfect. And then if you have to, you can cut off just a tiny bit on the other side so they sit flat. Okay, but you don't want to go all the way through, so just a little bit. I'm going to place those on a foil-lined pan that has just a little bit of olive oil on it. I'm going to season the cavity here with salt and pepper. Yes, you have to season it. Summer squash is just so bland. And then I'm going to take my filling, and I'm going to give each one a little bit. And then I'll go around and even it off. So just kind of divide it up amongst all your squash. And then you see what's left in the bowl, and then you can sort of add a little more to each one. Basically, bottom line, put the same amount in each, or as close as you can get to it. So far, so good. So once that's in there, I'm going to top with a little bit of plain breadcrumb, just a touch. Just dust the top with plain breadcrumb, and then just a really light drizzle of olive oil. Okay, you can see that there, just barely a few drops. I'm going to place that in a preheated... 375 degree oven for about, I don't know, let's say a half hour. Mine took about a half hour. Depends on the size of your squash, how much you scooped it out, and all that kind of stuff. Okay? What you're looking for is the squash to be tender and your topping to be browned. You'll see it just gives a little bit. Perfect. And you can always test it with the tip of a knife. It should go in with very little resistance. Okay? We want tender. We don't want falling apart. Then, please, for goodness sake, let these cool a little bit or you won't be able to taste anything. These should be served just warm, in my opinion. Okay, room temperature is great, but piping hot, you're just not going to be able to taste all the flavors. And there we go, summer squash stuffed with merguez sausage and goat cheese. I finished there with a little bit of chopped Italian parsley. And how did it taste? Awesome. And by awesome, I mean it didn't taste like summer squash. And I'm kind of kidding about that. The summer squash is really delicious, but it needs other things to bring it out. And by the way, do this with any squash you want. Yellow squash, those light green patty pan squash, starburst squash, name a squash. Go ahead. Yep, it'll work in that one. 
Anyway, I hope you give this a try. Head over to foodwishes.com where you'll find all the ingredient amounts, as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.